What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. We're talking about Megan in this video here again today. Now it's been a while since I talked about Megan because it has been dead silent about Megan. But we know Megan is expected to be like our new updated Chucky, Annabelle, Tiffany doll. The next big thing for killer dolls hopefully. Uh, definitely the look of the doll is the thing that I think has a lot of people. Okay this, this has a chance to be something big. If it's done right. Not to say it has to be the best movie ever. But if this doll and this new iteration of a killer doll is able to capture the eyes of millions of people and be profitable for blumhouse and universal alike then you will be able to of course branch out a franchise probably full of the wackiest things you've ever seen in recent memory with released to killer dolls so recently film updates who is usually putting out some reliable information when it retains to things to expect going on with movies and of course cast updates all that type of stuff they put out a tweet saying that the teaser for horror movie megan is expected to be released alongside the black phone now the black phone comes out on june 24th i believe june 24th the, the week of that so if it actually is attached to that that means we would get it that week get it sometime this month and we'll get to see i assume some of the footage that was shown at cinemacon because i know i come on all here already already done a video talking about how at cinemacon we show we were shown footage of megan basically causing somebody to get pushed into or not get pushed but stumble into what is led led to believe a car accident because she was defending the girl that she's protecting of the niece in this in this movie who's portrayed by i believe violet mcgraw that's what i'm assuming because we haven't actually had any confirmation that's who violet's playing but it seems like that's the case the story for megan again follows gimma who is portrayed by allison williams who is a brilliant roboticist at a toy company who uses artificial intelligence to develop megan a lifelike doll programmed to be a kid's greatest companion and a parent's greatest ally after unexpectedly gaining custody of her orphan niece gimma enlists the help of the megan prototype a decision that has unimaginable consequences so again what i think you have a chance here with this series is that with knowing it's a prototype of course the events here will bring into question okay well should we even still go forward with megan now of course in a sequel if they manage to get a sequel i can already see the narrative being similar to what you have with child's play 2 let's keep going that was just a prototype we've done all the tests to show that this is not going to happen again they release Megan dolls. Someone gets a specific doll. Same thing happens with that doll with a different kid. Or it could even actually, if you want to say, bring in Violet McGraw again, if she makes it out of this one alive, you can bring her back and somehow do some type of Andy Chucky dynamic between Megan and whoever Violet's character name will be. So when it pertains to this teaser we're getting, I just hope we get to see some of that wild action that we've had described that was shown at CinemaCon with Megan in action. I want to see it. I want to see how weird and obnoxious it's going to look. I just want to see how hokey this movie will be just to have set my expectations that this okay will either be something that's highly horribly horror based while being comedic or it's just going to be pure insanity taken very seriously with horror rooted above the comedy but you have sprinkles of comedy present throughout this teaser that i am assuming we're going to get by the end of this month if it happens with being attached to the black phone now obviously of course i think the other thing here is that violet mcgraw has a sister who is in the black phone i do believe there is a sibling of violet mcgraw that's actually in the black phone so yeah when i look up the cast for the black phone Madeline or Madeline McGraw who from what I've seen is the sister of Violet so I'm not saying that that's why they're doing it because they, they a sister has another movie coming out but mostly it's because they're both universal pictures they're both attached to universal both attached to blumhouse too from what i remember what I, from what i recall so i can't wait to see this first look teaser can't wait to see how megan comes to life by the time january runs around because that's when it's coming it's coming in january of 2023 releasing a teaser now it's not too soon we're six months deep into into the into the year by the time this teaser comes out if it's coming out later this month you're you'd be seven months deep which would leave july august september october november december you'd have you'd have another six months of marketing you'd have a couple more months to lay dormant before you come back put out a full-fledged trailer go on your marketing run put out some official steals and get us all hyped to experience megan on the big screen in 2023 of january 
because I know some people will say, oh, that's too soon. The movie's not coming till January. We're again, almost seven. It, we would almost be seven months deep by the time this first teaser comes out. Six months if it comes out in June. Actually comes out in June because again, that's what film updates is stating. And I will leave, they're stating that's the expectation anyway. They're not saying it's actually confirmed, but it's expected that we'll get the teaser this month associated with the Black Phones release later this month. So we'll see how that, how that comes to fruition if it does. And I'll leave a link to that tweet down in the description. So releasing the teaser now, it's not too soon. If anything, it's the perfect timing to do it. You can show just enough to get your audience enticed. Just show It could be something that's a minute long. It could be something that's 50 seconds long. I know a lot of you for a teaser, you prefer that something shorter, you know, because when you have a teaser these days, they're basically the length of a trailer. What they do now is like you have these teasers that are a minute and 30 seconds, and then the trailer is two minutes and 45 seconds or three minutes long. And then by the time you're done watching the teaser and the trailer, You've seen like a lot of the scenes from the movie. It's like, okay, well, I'm not going to watch certain trailers or teasers anymore because, you know, they are very different from how I remember they were growing up. Teasers used to be maybe 15 seconds, 30 seconds. Some teasers, I think of like the Scream 3 teaser. They didn't even really show footage from the movie. They would just show you like maybe recaps of stuff or just like it would be this suspenseful music with haunting imagery on your screen and bold text to like get you hyped and get you to read and get invested before you get your footage reveal with the actual trailer but now the teasers and the trailers they're showing footage left and right the trailer just a little bit more exposure at this at this stage so we'll see what happens if it comes out what are your thoughts on megan do you want to see megan take over the reins of chucky not to say again this is me just mostly joking <laughs> I don't think Megan is going to be able to garner the acclaim of Chucky as much as I think Megan has a chance to at least be relevant for some time if this is a successful movie. I can see us getting maybe two, three entries. Uh, I'm a sucker for a trilogy. That's all I really got to say. I'm a sucker for a trilogy. If they go beyond three, fine four five six max i just think that megan by the time it's all said and done if it becomes a franchise it's not something that's going to be talked about for many years to come that's just me already right now after seeing this movie though i could have a different opinion on it but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications. you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video